Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, today's video is going to be regarding how to generate automatic subtitles in Caden Live by using speech recognition and specifically how to do this if you are using Caden Live in Ubuntu. Uh, now, I feel like subtitling has kind of become the theme of my YouTube channel for the past um past few weeks at least because i've been using subtitles in all sorts of contexts specifically for language learning and this is a really really nice feature that uh, will basically allow you to uh take let's say a video blog so what i've done firstly is um i have put a video blog i recorded about an hour ago hence the same t-shirt same uh, same room different hour um and we're gonna just uh install i'm gonna show you guys how to install the speech to text in uh Caden Live on Ubuntu. Now, before I do that, just one one question that people might have is well, you know, I've shown in videos the last few weeks how YouTube has very nice sub subtitling features. You upload something like this video blog to YouTube, one day later or so YouTube has automatically subtitled it. So what would be the point if this tech exists in using automatic subtitling here? So there is a reason. The reason would be that if you want to firstly embed your subtitles uh, directly into the video file, the best workflow these days for creating subtitles is an AI human combo. In other words, some kind of algorithm, which we're going to be uh, downloading from the internet in this video, and then correct those as a human, right? The algorithm is going to get some words wrong. It's not going to capitalize words correctly, stuff like that. So you can do this workflow inside of Caden Live. And that gives you the option of saying, you know, I want to embed in the video track English subtitles. And then I want to actually export the subtitle file and put that as my caption file on YouTube. It's just a kind of more robust professional way of subtitling than doing it in YouTube. I would, I would argue. Anyway. Here's how to set it up. So there's two ways you're going to encounter this in your Caden Live. First one is project subtitles. And you may have been subtitling in Caden Live and said, ooh, what's this fancy looking speech recognition thing? Now, this is what it's going to look like after it's been configured. I'm using now the VOSK model, blah, blah, blah. And you get to choose timeline zone, timeline zone, or selected clips. Very important to pay attention to this because timeline zone is, is the little blue line here on my editing timeline. So you need to stretch that out or use keyboard shortcuts to get it all to the video. Or what I can do as well, another, another method I can do here is, again, this is a video blog. I'm just gonna ungroup the video and the audio layers. I'm gonna select the audio only because clearly we're not subtitling video. And then repeat the process, project, subtitles, speech recognition and then point it to selected clip that would work too now another way to see how you are set up is by going settings configure and here you're going to have a uh, one of the options is going to be speech to text now this is again after i've set it up but i want to draw your attention to what it says at the bottom here speech to text is configured and it says we have vosk 0.3.43 and we have SRT 3.5.2. Now SRT might clue you in to the fact that that's the Python module for generating subtitles because SRT is kind of the most common subtitle file format. So what that particular Python module does is generate those subtitles. But that's So it's a separate process. Firstly, we listen to audio. We decipher what the words are. That requires a speech-to-text model. And secondly, we're going to use a python module for actually generating the subtitles i'm just breaking down the text so it's a little bit more logical what we're actually doing here instead of just putting random commands into the computer so it says downloads so firstly there's custom models folder now if you're an advanced user you're really into this stuff you can train up your own uh it would be super cool but i don't have time for that right now but i'm just using the english us and despite the fact that i have clearly got a uh, irish accent um, it's doing pretty okay with me. Not wonderful, but it's as good as YouTube, put it like that. So um, you, you can follow this link here and it's going to take you over to, I'm just going to drag it into my screen here. Alpha, c models. And the one I went for was VOSK model ENUS.022. It's a 1.8 gig 
download uh so it's on the lar- it's on the larger side but uh, they have a bunch of other languages like chinese russian french german spanish so and the cool thing about this is you can have as many languages as you want here you just need to tell when you're running the uh, speech recognition you just need to say uh this is english so use the english uh language file please the next thing i did so i downloaded this 1.8 gigs and then i kind of told there's a plus icon it's pretty self-explanatory you just say tell the tell Caden Live where it may expect to find this model on your computer. Uh, I I saved mine here. Program speech to text, and I just pointed the um, I pointed the uh, Caden Live to that folder. I think I went for this one and clicked open or something. I'm not gonna do it again because it's like many things on Linux. Once it's working, it's working. Do not touch it. So um, it is working right now. So I'm just gonna, that was what I did there. So the next stage in the process is installing the modules. Uh, so this was what I had to do. I'm gonna drag over my notepad. I've prepared the commands that you are going to need. I'll also leave these in the video description just to be helpful. Um, out of the box, my Ubuntu uh, has Python running on it. Yours probably does too, uh, but it uh, didn't have these two modules. So all I needed to do was install these two modules. The first thing I needed to do was install this um, this uh, utility called uh, PIP3. It's uh, super useful and it'll just uh, make installing Python modules uh, kind of effortless. So that was my first command, sudo apt get install python3 PIP. And then I use these commands, pip3 install VOSK and pip3 install SRT to install these two packages. And I hope I made, I hope that was clear uh, what each one is doing right there. The first one is the the, he- the heavy stuff. It's uh, doing the speech and text. The second one is just uh, automatically shoving in those uh, subtitles. So once you're, once you're there, you're pretty much good. That was the hard part done. Uh, so basically just to do a quick recap, Firstly, you want to download your text-to-speech model. You want to point Kate in life to it. You want to make sure you've got these two modules installed, VOSK and SRT. And then it even has a nice little configuration checker so you can make sure you're good to go on all this. And there's an update utility there too. So we are now ready, I think. So remember what I said that you need to make sure you've selected. So I'm going to just do like intentionally only one minute because i'm going to just do this live and to show you guys so that it won't take forever so i'm going to automatically do subtitles on a minute of this now here what i want to go project i want to go subtitles i want to go speech recognition i want i'm just going to do selected clips because there's no reason for this uh algorithm to parse the video because uh uh, there's just video there so I'm just saying hey just take the audio layer and we're just going to do a minute and then click process and then make yourself a cup of coffee um Caden Live being Caden Live you know sometimes this is going to crash the machine sometimes it's just not going to work because the computer is in a bad mood just make ah this is working so we're um sorry I'm, I'm aligned Caden Live for no reason now because it's a minute we're running through this fairly quickly if it was 20 minutes, the full project, it's gonna take 20 times as long to generate your subtitles. And remember, this is actually a two-part process. I'm gonna put myself down so you can see the magic happen. Once we hit 100%, boom, you see it? Our subtitles were added to the video automatically. I did not do this, the computer did this. And we can see the subtitles, they've been embedded. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel, uh, my usual intro. This is Daniel Rosehill. So you guys can see the changes I need to make. I want to add a capital D. I want to make Rosehill, R-O-S-E-H-I-L-L. But it's a very, very good start. And another cool thing about this is that I can choose to embed the, the subtitles if I want to. Now, just in case you don't know how to do that, you simply can hide the subtitles layer just like this by clicking on the i what's going to happen now is that if i render out this video it's not going to include the subtitles but i can edit the subtitles in caden live and then export the subtitle file like this and it will export the subtitle file so really versus doing this in youtube um 
for A, it's more flexible. B, if you're not uploading videos to YouTube, but to some other platform like Vimeo or uh, anything for that matter, uh, this can be really, really useful because if you're not uploading to YouTube, needless to say, you're not going to have the YouTube subtitling utilities uh, there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think this will be a good guide for anyone looking to use this feature in Caden Live on Ubuntu. I hope this was indeed useful. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to get more videos from me, do feel free to click on the subscribe button. And remember, if you want your subtitles to be accurate, you should speak slowly and clearly. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.